Let's now tackle number 13 on the AMC8. Buzz Bunny is hopping up and down a set of stairs. In how many ways can Buzz start on the ground, make a sequence of six hops, and end back up on the ground? So the key idea here is that at any point of time, the number of moves that are made of up must be more than the moves made of down. And it's actually like a very interesting concept in combinatorics, something known as the Catalan numbers. You can go look those up if you're interested. But of course, you know, this is like a very simple version of it, so you don't need to invoke advanced theory like that. So the first thing to notice here is, you know, we have to end back at the ground. So in total, that means if you have six total hops, we must have three up hops and three down hops. But not all combinations of three up hops and three down hops will work, unfortunately. So the first thing to notice here is that the first hop must be up. I cannot, I cannot draw you. The first hop must be, up, must be up, right? The second hop can either be up or down. Now we have two cases. So up, so we can have up, down, or we can have up, up. So let, let's just look at these cases separately, right? If we have up down, now we still have four moves left and we have two, we, we have four moves left and two of them must be up and two of them must be down. So if we go up down, we're now back at the ground again. So we have to go another up. We don't have a choice. We can't go sinking into the ground. So next move must be up. And then if the next move is up, then now we again have two subcases kind of here. We can either have a down, now we have up, down, up, down, or we can have another up. So in the case we have up, up, down, up, down, now there's really only one way to finish, right? Because now we have two moves left, one up move, one down move. You know, you're at the ground. Your next move must be up. And the final move must be down. But now what if you go up, down, up, up? So now you're going, okay, up, down, up, up. And now you have to, you've used all three up moves. So you need to just have two down moves left. So there's just one way to do that, right? Your next two moves must be down. So in total for this, we have just two ways over here. Next, we have the second case, which is up, up. So you go up and then up in the beginning. And then now we just, again, take two cases, right? You can either go down or up. And in the case where you go, in the case where you go up, this case is pretty simple, right? You go up, 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 you've used all three ups. Your last three moves must be down, down, down to end back at the ground. <laughs> this is like a poem. Okay, now here's where things are a little bit, it's a slightly harder case. But if you go up, up, and then down, right? Now we have, we have up, up, and then we go back down. Now we're on step number one. We have one up move left and two down moves left. So now we again, we can just branch out into two cases here. We can either do up. From here, we can either go up again. And if we go up again, now we use three up moves and our last two moves must just be down, right? Because now we've used one, two, three up moves. So last two moves must be down. Or if we go down, so if we go up, up, and then down, down, then we have, we're back at ground. We have an up move and down move left. So there's just one way, up, down. So in this case, we get three ways. In total, we get five. But now this is kind of like a long, kind of annoying way. So now let's just go over a slightly slicker way of doing this. So the idea is, is the first move must be up. Again, we have three ups and three downs, and the last move must be down. And the idea is that most in between here, we must have two ups and two downs. So we can just look at all these cases, all the permutations of two ups and two downs. And you know, by the number of ways to do that, right? We just choose two of these places for the for the uh, use. There's just four choose two ways, right? There's four choose two, and that's four times three divided by two. 
six ways to have two ups or two downs amongst these four. So now what you can just do is you can just list them all out and see, and you can just see, okay, which one of these work, which one of these don't work. Or you can just see which ones will not work. The only way something won't work is if at any point of time, you know, a permutation, you have more down moves than up moves, right? For example, you have one up move and two down moves. Now you're in the ground. And I don't think that's allowed in our problem statement. So how many ways are there so that at any point of time, we have more down moves and up moves? And it turns out there's only one such way. And that's up. And then you go down, down. And then finally go up, up, down. Right? Because after this point, we have two down moves. And it turns out that every other possibility for these four values in the middle will actually work. So we can just see that, okay, there's six total ways to organize the two ups and downs in these middle four choices. And only one of them doesn't work. So we get five ways that do work. So five is our answer. So two solutions. One of these is like a more naive approach, but it's straightforward and it's like simple. You know, it's not just requires a little bit of casework and care, being careful. This is like a slightly smarter way. And it's also good to use. And if you're interested, you can also search up the Catalan numbers. They're pretty cool. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed.